Welcome to another Synfig tutorial and in this tutorial I'll be creating a text reveal animation. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is click on the gradient tool and in the layer type options I'm going to make sure to select the conical gradient here and I'm going to left click and drag to create my gradient. Then the next step is to go over into the properties of the gradient, right click, click convert and convert it to a stripes so that we can get this. And I'm just going to use my move tool to move this down like so. And I'm going to go ahead and add my text in using the text tool. By the way, I'm using Synfig 1.5.1 for this tutorial. So I'm going to type synfig and I'm going to click OK and I'm going to change the font to, well, it's already at Arial. And I'm going to change the weight to heavy so we can get a much thicker font. But of course you can use whatever font you want. And to scale it down, I'm going to put this into a folder and I'm just going to rename this text so that we can know that the text is inside of this folder. And we're not seeing the text and that's because the text itself is set to blend method onto. So we need to change, change that to composite. And I'm going to click on the folder for the text and just scale this down a bit to maybe there. And I'm going to put the text and the gradient into a folder. So I'm just going to create a folder here and make sure that the, both the gradient and the text is in the folder and make sure that the text is above the gradient. So now I'm going to, with the text group layer selected, I'm going to come to my blend method and we want to select alpha. That way the gradient will be hidden within the text area here. Okay, so if you turn off the background, you'll see what it looks like there. Okay. All right, so let's begin animating. So I'm going to click on my gradient layer here, and I'm going to go turn on my animate button. And in the gradient properties, I'm going to open up this drop down box here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate the, the gradient. So using the angle parameter here. So I'm going to change the angle to maybe zero. And I think I want my animation to stop at frame 48. So I'm going to come down to frame 48. And I'm going to rotate this by 180 degrees. So we'll have something like this. And you can turn off the text to see exactly what is going on. So if I play this, all we did was just to rotate the gradient. Okay, so let me turn on back the text and play it again so you can see what's happening. Okay, all right, so that is happening there. Now, the next step is to animate the text. So I'm going to go into the text group here, click on the text layer, and in the properties for the text where it says horizontal spacing, change that to zero and Make sure you're on frame one. If you aren't, just move the keyframe down to zero. And I'm gonna come down to frame 48 and I'm gonna change the horizontal space into one. Press enter. So what this does is it, it folds up the text and then it opens out on frame 48, like so. Okay, so let's play that so you can see. So we get a nice um, reveal there of the text like so. All right, so that is looking good. Now I'm going to go to the gradient and I'm going to turn off its opacity at frame one. So press zero and then I'm just going to have it fade on at about frame 10. So I'm going to change this value to one. So it starts out invisible, then it comes on like so. And it reveals itself. Okay, so of course at some point we want the text itself to be fully revealed, right? So 
by frame 48 the text should be fully revealed so i'm gonna go some a few frames down from the 48 the 48 frame and within the gradients properties i'm gonna come here to gradient open up the drop down and what we want to change is actually the width so this is set to 0.5 i'm just going to change this to zero real quick okay and i'm going to open this up go back to width and i'm going to change it to 0.5 and i just made the change just so we can get a keyframe here for it um so i'm going to probably move this down here and then on frame 48 we want to change the width to one so that we can fully see the the entire text like so so what we have now if we play we have this nice reveal of our text and of course uh let me turn off the anime one we can come over into our gradients here and we can change the color so we can change it to whatever you want of course you know i tend to use two colors which is uh purplish pink or purple so if I play you can see so it's very easy to change the color and of course you can animate the colors changes changing as, as well All right so that is looking really good I quite like that okay and if you turn off the background you can see what it actually looks like without the background you know, so you can render this out as an alpha and put it on pretty much you can overlay it on any video or any background okay so let me turn on back the background now and you can also the reason why you aren't seeing any colors here is because there is no is no color on color one so if we should click on that we could actually apply a color to it so we could have two colors instead of one like so all right, so it's, it's up to you and what you want. And to make this look even more interesting, what we could do is we could take our rectangle tool and just create a box here. I'm gonna change this rectangle to white, like so. And I'm going to change the type of feather to Gaussian blur and add a feather of maybe, let's say 10. You know that 10 is fine for me and I'm going to go to my select tool here I'm going to turn on animate and I'm going to come to where it's almost uh, at the end of the text here and just let me move this here to add a keyframe here and then at frame 48 I'm just going to move this all the way down the text like so so what we have is like a, a light sweep over the text and I'm going to turn off the background just so we can see it fully here and with my rectangle layer selected I'm going to change the blend method to onto that's so it, it locks itself onto the text so if I should play it back now we have this and that's way too fast so maybe I'll just move our keyframes out a bit all right so yeah so you can play around with that as much as possible I quite like that all right and I'm gonna go back to the gradient and I'm gonna turn off this first color here because I, I quite like it with just one color like so all right and one thing you could do is it, you could actually if you didn't want if you don't want um like viewers to know what text is being revealed you could do something like this so let's say i'm just well what you could do is you could duplicate this group so you could have a copy of the group and then i'm going to turn off i'm going to turn off this one and then come come to the second group here select all of my keyframes and just move it down by a few frames so it start so the start is delayed by a few frames so when you play it they will both play at once but what you want to do is you want to make sure that in the second group here 
you want to change the text. So maybe you could have maybe studios or so synfig studios here. And that will add to the randomness of the word. Okay, so studios and click OK. So when it plays, you won't be able to know what word is there until it's fully revealed. But of course, uh, you'll see both of them being revealed. So you'll have to hide one of them at the end. Uh, so we can go ahead and hide studios. So at frame 48 is when everything is revealed. So we can come to a few frames before 48 frame. And we can, let me just change the opacity so that we can get a keyframe. Well, I didn't turn on animate, so let me do that again. Let me change the opacity to one. And then come down to frame 48 and change this to zero. So you won't see that text at the end, All right? So you'll have the randomness right up until frame 48. So if you should play this back, you won't be able to tell which text is being revealed until the end. So that's just a cool trick to, you know, somewhat randomize. Uh, well, it does. it's not really randomizing the letters, but it's sort of hiding the text so you don't know what text it is until it's fully revealed. Okay? And that's if you would like. Or you could just turn off one layer and you use the original layer by itself. So yeah, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something in this one and uh, I hope you found it useful and I will see you in the next one. Yo, Kimari. Yo, Kimari.